All right, so this is Street Fighter 2 Special Championship Edition. As I explained in my original walkthrough of the Genesis Mini, this version of the game is essentially a, a version that's a hybrid between Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Championship Edition and Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. Even though it calls itself Special Championship Edition, it has the version that's Hyper Fighting in it as well. But the problem is there's only three buttons, so you need to actually press start to switch between punches and kicks, and there's no pause in the game. Also, wait till you hear the sound effects. Just wait till you get it. Just wait till you hear it. Get ready. Two blonde white guys punching each other out. In the original, it's actually a black guy and a white guy fighting. La 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 la. Now look at the graphics. Listen to that. Did you hear that? Oh. It doesn't even have the right sound effect. When you hear when he kicked, it's supposed to go do 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 do. It says it goes. All right, so here you go. This is Championship Edition, which is Street Fighter 2 Champion. This is Hyper Fighting. So it's the two different versions of the game, and it has both versions of the characters in it, okay? Here's your difficulty. I'm going to pump it all the way up. Okay. This is going to be insanely hard. Hi, hi. Let's do Championship Edition. All right, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a cheesy motherfucker, and I'm gonna pick Bison and cheese the fuck out of the computer. <laughs> See you later, Derek. Listen to the sound effects. Wow. Do you hear how bad it sounds? It sounds so bad. What? The sounds are bad, the graphics are okay. For for honestly, for this generation, the graphics are good. The sounds are terrible. I got him! That was close. <clears throat> you win. Change the stream name game? Okay. USA. It's not even in there. It's not even in there. Hold on. Oh, that's right. I can't change the stream name. I can't pause the game. Remember I told you the game doesn't have a pause? I can't pause the game to change the stream name. Wow, he did reactionary Shoryuken.
can't. I can't change it. Wow. What? That's not even possible. I'm not even kidding. There's no hitbox. The, the 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 in the real game the 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 uh ta the uh what you call it the the uh, cycle crusher can't be hit like that. Alright. So the major problem here is that to play the game, you need to be pressing start to switch between punches and kicks. So number one, you can't pause. And number two, you can't do proper combos or anything. Christ. Red Bandit Chitter said, knowing you started as a Street Fighter guy, what are your hopes and wishes for the inevitable Street Fighter 6? I've already said, I just wanted to play like an old school game. Take out all your bullshit gimmicks, your easy mode stuff that makes it so kids can mash buttons and play. And just put in old, wow, old school gameplay like there used to be in Street Fighter and that'd be enough to save the whole franchise. But the problem is the people who make Street Fighter now aren't the people who made the old games. So they don't even understand what made the old games good. <laughs> wow. Got him. So what's funny is this is Championship Edition. This is the, the second version. This game also has Hyper Fighting, the third version, but most people like Hyper Fighting way more than Championship Edition. So it was weird they included this in the Genesis version. But you guys see how bad the game looks and, and sounds, right? So this is the way they tried to get people to buy this version. They were like, oh, it's two game versions of the game in one. It's like, yeah, but it's the old version of the game. No one plays it anymore. No one liked. Which is why they made the new one. And you're advertising it like it's a big deal to have that version in here. When in reality, it wasn't. What? <laughs> Jump behind her and throw her. <clears throat> that's correct. That's correct. Elo should go. The Super NES version was superior in every way. Controls, graphics, sound, everything was better on the SNES version. Daughter, cross up. Yep. And I'm playing on the hardest difficulties. This is like really hard too. Because the game will do total reactionary stuff to what you're doing. So it's super tough to play. <clears throat> so because this is Bison, on, on this stage you can't do any special moves because he has all charge moves. And you can't charge in this stage because there's no back. When you press right or left, you change direction. So all you can do is low heavy punch as a hit. It's really the only way to beat this car. You try to do standing kicks, they whiff sometimes. That's all I had to do, just keep punching it. <clears throat> all right. Oh no, the Geefster on the highest difficulty.
<laughs> this is what you do to beat it, by the way. This is what you do. At the highest difficulty, you cheese it. You win. Oh, man. Round two, fight. Spinning pile driver. You're not bad the spinning pile driver sounded, right? It didn't even have the correct voice clip, and then it didn't play the spinning effect at all. It looks like half the sound effects in the game. It's really a terrible version of Street Fighter 2. It's really bad, man. I think the only thing that's worse is there was actually a PC port of Street Fighter 2 early on that was even worse than this. Dizzy. No? You should have been. That's bullshit. What? What? Did you see that? You did a fireball the wrong direction. That's not even possible. You did a fireball completely in the wrong direction. You can't do that in this game. So if you don't see, geez, it's very different from the arcade. Yeah, it's glitched to shit. He's doing fireballs to the left. Wow, I'm in the middle of a, I'm doing a combo he throws me. What the fuck? I did a meaty low punch, he ignored it and threw me. Of course, it's better than the one in the 30th collection, even sound-wise. Of course it is. If you, if you like playing games inside of a tin can buried in your grandmother's closet, it sounds amazing, right? <laughs> Oh my god! Punch him in his ass! <laughs> about that in this version Ryu will do jumping roundhouse low roundhouse and no matter what the low roundhouse will hit you if you try to do anything to hit it it hits you anyway it's a glitch that they did with the CPU in, in the real game you should be able to punish when he does jump ins and stuff you can't do it in this game <clears throat> right yeah, see, I just tried. You gotta block it. You should be able to throw it and hit it, but not in this version. It doesn't work. Oh, 
Punch him in his ass again. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, same movie says this game's a masterpiece, but I forget. <laughs> so I'm, right now I'm playing Championship Edition. I, at a future date, I could actually play um, the other version, which is Hyper Fighting, which is actually the better version of this. This is the older school version. Well, the, the reason this one came about is because in the original Street Fighter 2, you couldn't play as the bosses at all. And everyone was upset, like, why can't I play as Balrog, Vega, Bison, Saga, etc.? So this version added them as characters and added, like, basic combos that weren't available in the original okay. game. <clears throat> Hyper Fighting made the game crazy fast and added all kinds of new properties that weren't in the original. See, Buka cheered 100 bits and said, if I could go back in time to when Street Fighter 2 came out and had amnesia, would I do it? No. Been here, done that. I don't want to redo the same shit. Wow. Did you, he did two jabs that comboed into each other, which you can't do in this game, and it dizzied me. You can't combo two jabs with, with Honda ever. It's not possible. <clears throat> I didn't jump, I tried to do cycle pressure. Got him. Got him, huh? Luis Felipe RN to be two dollars fifty cents. And says, "Hey, Phil, been watching you for a while. I wanted to ask if an indie team has ever asked you for input on game design. If not, would you if they asked?" No, it never asked me for input. Actually, a lot of indie co companies still email me with free stream keys to their games, asking me to play them. And I'm like, I don't know anything about your game. Um, I don't really want to play it. You know, every once in a while, maybe there's an offer that's interesting, but most of the time, it's just games you've never heard of. Games from some guy who, you know, is desperate for attention. He just wants anyone on the planet to play the game. So that should feel bad, but that's about it. I don't really get any, any questions for input or anything, no. Got him. Moonwalkman asks, why is Street Fighter 2 still one of the most popular games in the franchise? What's the special appeal? It's the first in the franchise. It's the game that made fighting games exist. There were no competitive fighting games that still Street Fighter 2. And of course, when you're going to play them, you want to play the last version that existed. You don't want to play the one that was the early one that had all the glitches and shit and was completely unbalanced. You want to play the last one that existed in the franchise, right? By the way, you're noticing something? Oh my god, look at this! Look how fast this bite is! I couldn't get out! So his ball is spinning at the wrong speed. It spins it at like double speed in this version of the game. And his bite, he could cheat for insane hits. Bitch. That's correct, Mike Yusha. Even in the, in the in the arcade version of this game, the AI in the in, when you're playing arcade against AI cheats as well. It breaks all the game mechanics. It breaks all of its own game mechanics to cheat, to cheat and win. All right. Look how weird Balrog looks. He 
He's like small. Like they got the sprite wrong. What? I don't even know what happened. I seriously don't even know what happened. He punched me through a cycle crusher, which you can't do. And then he did a dashing upper. I didn't attack and it hit me and dizzied me. Okay. I didn't do that. I just, uh, I did that. Scissors. I did low kick to, to stuff it, and he just hit me anyway. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. I told you, this game is terrible. It cheats. The sprites are wrong. The hitboxes are wrong. You can't punch the Psycho Crusher like he did. It's not possible. <laughs> Look at they shrunk Balrog's head. They shrunk everything. You're like, he's supposed to be taller? They, they made him all screwed up in this version. Round one, fight. What the fuck? I think it's a headbutt. See, he gets to punch the Psycho Crusher, which you can't do in the real game. I didn't do that either. I wanted to throw him, and the game reversed my charge and gave me a backward Psycho Crusher I didn't want. <laughs> He, he swept my sweep. Right, look at that. What the fuck? I was in the middle of a hit string, he throws me. Yeah, computer's cheating like crazy. Uh. Yeah, Moonwalk, the, the, the Street Fighter movie is so bad, it's good. It really is. It's like a guilty pleasure of anyone who likes Street Fighter. <laughs> Round one, fight. Why am I getting hit? I have no idea. What? Why am I getting thrown in the middle of a combo? I didn't sweep. I didn't sweep. I did standing roundhouse. He gave me a sweep and he reactionary punched it. <laughs> there we go. Bullshit. Cheating like crazy. <laughs> you win. <clears throat> Round three, fight. What? I punched him between I went through the combo and he fucking matches with a throw. He just keeps reading the input. When he sees a move coming out, he immediately does a move that beats it, even though Crouching Roundhouse does not beat those moves in this game. It doesn't. It's only the computer deciding that it's going to beat them and changing the rules. <laughs> wow. Did I watch the Street Fighter anime? No, I saw the anime movie, but I never saw the anime series. Now his overcome beats the scissor too, which he does it. Remember he was supposed to beat everything in the game. Remember he was supposed to beat everything in the game, and by the way, you know how he's doing it over and over? You can't do that, it's a charge move. You have to hold back tw two to three seconds and then forward plus punch. You can't do dash upward, dash upward, dash upward. It's impossible. Oh, 
What the fuck? You can't do that either. I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I got hit. I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Good lord, man. Oh, Keenan, there's no reason for me to watch a video titled How the AI Cheated You in Street Fighter 2. I've showed you guys a million times how it cheats you in Street Fighter 2. I'm showing you right now. Why do I need to watch a video? You're watching it live! You're watching it live and I've showed you in every version, including, um, the alphas and others that the game always cheats. Especially the original Street Fighter 2 is the worst, though. Um, but I showed you this when I did my anniversary collection run-through last year. I did a whole walkthrough showing how the computer would cheat constantly at the highest difficulties. <laughs> you win. All right. Oh. Why did it even hit me? It makes no sense. <laughs> it makes no sense at all. I got him trapped. Yep. Adam Trap, perfect. Had to do the cheesy corner pattern. All right. All right. This is a situation where the bonus stage sucks. Because I can't do anything fancy, because I can't do any special moves. Because I'm a charge character, and you can't do special moves in the, or charge moves in the bonus stages. You can only do rounded motion. So Ryu and Kick can do like hurricane kicks and fireballs and uppercuts. And Bison just has to stand her in roundhouse every barrel. <laughs> Boring. Oh boy. So Vega sounds the worst in the entire game, just to warn all of you. You heard that? Sounds so bad. <laughs> like a falling crow. <laughs> Beat his ass. Yeah, but he's bad. He's like the worst, the worst audio in the whole game. It like destroys your eardrums listening to him. All right, two more to go, guys. Two more to go. Sadat. Island. Walk up reactionary tiger uppercut twice. Look at that damage. Three of them! He read my inputs three times and did three reactionary tiger uppercuts. Jesus Christ, dude. Ha ha! 
<laughs> what? I hit him with the scissor. He recovered before I recovered from my own special move that connected and threw me. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Ouch. Wow, I hit him over his fireball. Uh. Alright. Now the mirror match. And the reason this final mirror match is bullshit. Watch, Bison will do double damage to me. I'll hit him with the same moves and do way less damage than he'll do to me. <laughs> okay. There is no Akuma fight in this. Akuma wasn't until Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. So he's not in this. What the holy hell? I walked up and through and said the game just let him punch me for insane damage. That took a ginormous chunk of damage. Those those he, he would walk forward and torpedo. You saw that, right? Couldn't block that. Wow. He can walk forward and then do a flaming torpedo, which is impossible. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wow! He blocks, recovers in time, and throws me before I can do another move, even though I'm supposed to be able to lock him down and block stuff. I didn't do that, I did head stomp twice. He's gonna keep doing it. He's gonna keep doing reactionary cycle crusher to beat everything I do. This computer's so fucking broken. Oh my god. He kicks. He's reactionary kicking the fucking cycle crusher. Also, you can't do it, by the way. You can't do that! It doesn't work! Fuck off. Dude! Walk forward, Psycho Crusher, and it does insane damage. Get the fuck out of here. Look how much damage I lost! I lost twice as much health as he did! 
We hit each other with the same fucking move, and I, he took more twice as much health as I took. <laughs> I couldn't hit him this time. Yeah, I got him. He's done. Can't block this. Nice. Oh, my God. <clears throat> no, Pony's 101. He says, the higher difficulty, the less health they lose. That is true, but actually, in reality, the higher difficulty, the more damage they deal for no reason. They'll do insane damage for no reason. All right, here we are. So, by the way, in Champion Edition, in Championship Edition, everyone gets this. All the bosses get this ending. They all get the same thing. Of course, they get different text, but... They get the same picture. They gave them individual endings starting in hyper fighting, I believe. <clears throat> Thank you, Jay Bowler. He says, Good Street Fighter run. It was tough. I put on the hardest difficulty. It's very tough. Under the rule of its merciless iron fist, both countries will be brought under the evil organization's control, bringing death and destruction to anyone who dares oppose him. Bison laughs and says, That's thanks to you, the world is mine. <laughs> Okay then. Well, by hammer my ass like this stream. All right, pops and close. one email from being done for the uh, Halloween, uh, with the Halloween emotes. That's cool. Oh, let's do the credits. This is the classic Street Fighter two credits. The color's also off because Ken is supposed to be like a purple outfit. That looks blue to me, right? It's supposed to be purple's blue. Damn, everything just looks so off. It really is a bad version of the game. The graphics, the sound, everything is just bad. I feel bad for the Genesis owners who really wanted a new port of this. They get a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> nah, nah. You're welcome, Abisho. La 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 It's kind of weird seeing Street Fighter without the without the GUI, right? Without the energy bars and everything. You never see this. That was great. You did a no charge flash kick. In this version, Chun Li doesn't have a fireball yet. In Championship Edition, she doesn't even have one yet. Honda also doesn't have his butt splashes. Well, it's his, his hundred hands and headbutt. That's it. So Honda sucks, by the way. Honda's really bad. Probably one of his worst, worst versions. Nope, I haven't tried Eternal Champions yet. Uh, yet. Freddy S. Isn't Championship Bison best character in any of the series? I would say no. Um, I would say no that they're not. He's not. I would say probably the top tiers of Super Turbo are. Like, even though Championship Bison is cheesy as fuck, the top tiers of Super Turbo have more tools, supers, and everything that makes them better overall. <clears throat> the boss is duking now. Uh, you're like, What a great voice. It's nice they put this in the collection, the, the, second, uh, the Genesis Mini collection, but... If anything, it just kind of shows how inferior the Genesis was to the other console. The Super NES version was like almost close to arcade. It was. And this version is just like not even close. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. All right, see you later, Jackie Smurf. Da 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 ba da ba da ba da 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 ba da ba da ba ba da ba Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's good stuff.
They get a new, little splash screen. Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition colors. So if you beat Hyper Fighting, you get the other screen. This is Street Fighter 2 with the Championship Edition logo and the Championship Edition, or excuse me, Hyper Fighting logo and the Hyper Fighting colors. So there you go. Alright, that is Special Championship Edition of Street Fighter 2 on the Genesis Mini. Very nice.